They say it was against God's will that Sabiador was settled by humans. Some claim that we would have had an easier time settling the universe had we done it in peaceful coexistence with our creators. Personally, I think we would never have gotten to where we are today without the species wars. The species wars were the fuel for our creativity. They brought us prestige and progress and led to the creation of a new human race. The split from our creators led us to new worlds, to new ingenuity, and to new wars. The wars made us what we are today. The spirit of Saviador is our constant companion. It is the beacon that guides us from colony to colony. It illuminates the darkness. We revere it, we honor it, we would die for it. We didn't encounter any other intelligent life forms on our forays into space, which gave rise to the belief that the universe was made for humans, and that all we had to do was stretch out our hands and reap the bounty of its treasures. Finding Triamon was like finding the lost paradise again. Conditions on the surface of the planet were absolutely perfect, Almost too perfect, some found. But Triamon was not the first planet we've settled. It's the 14th. So we went about its settlement with a set routine. The only thing standing in our way, as it usually happens, was us. Times have changed since the species war. We are no longer the only human species in the universe. We continue to develop in different directions. The challenges of the universe have allowed us to escape the shackles of evolution. There are no more limits to our creativity. There is only one decision left for us to make, biogenesis or cybernetics. Each human species has developed its own methods and strategies for war since the uprisings on Saviador, and they're nearly perfected. But every war needs to end sometime. It just wears itself out and gets lost to history. What follows is a cosmic moment of creative emptiness known as freedom. Even now we're starting to create great things, signing packs and creating a memorial to peace, so that its emptiness might not seem quite so pointless. But just because you can't see a silent enemy doesn't mean he doesn't exist. The invisible is ever-present and always nearby. So remember this. No war is ever over. Each end is also the beginning of something new.